Hello, it's Aga from Marvis Artist. As many of you asked for, today I show you my workflow with use of the project manager. I've only mentioned this plugin when I was showing you my top plugin lists, so be sure to check it out if you haven't watched it yet. I put the link in a corner. So basically, Project Manager helps you with managing files in your scene. So you can easily access the files and drag and drop them into the scene. Let me show you some magic. First, let me open the Project Manager. Here it is. So basically, we have two main options, Explorer and Assets Files. Let's start with the Explorer. On the right hand side, we have different categories. I don't use them all personally, but you can easily adjust it to your needs. Model selection is definitely the one that I use the most often. The structure you can see here is the exact structure of the library I have on the drive. So I have main categories and then subcategories for all of them. Now, let me show you the interior for instance. You can see all subcategories listed. I choose tables and dining for instance. I see all my models that I have in the folder as an image. To have the preview in the form of the images in the project manager, you need to save file and JPEG with the same name in the folder. I like this display the most, but you can choose from three types. Details, thumbnails and details, or only thumbnails, which I like the most. You can also order by name, file size, file type, and date. It can be useful from time to time. You can also search by name. I like to put the name of the company the model is from at the beginning of the name, so I only type the first letters here, so I can easily access all the models that meet this criteria. Let me choose one of them, and I simply drag and drop it to the scene. By clicking, we can set the model in the correct position. You can also see that it comes with the texture. I like to have the maps folder to all of the subcategories models in one folder, so they are all linked to one place. I truly love the beauty of this. I cannot imagine working without this option anymore and manually merging all the files. Okay, let me show you another category, HDRI for instance. So similarly, we can select the category we want. We need to turn off the filter name though. So you can see that we have previews and we can easily search and decide what we want. Let's go to the IES now. I don't have anything here because I want to show you how to see the structure of folders. It's super easy. It basically reflects the folder structure on your hard drive. You just need to find the folder you want to have in this section and drag and drop this folder here. And here it is. The whole structure is visible. We can see the subcategories and look for IES that we need. Again, we can simply drag and drop it to the scene and we'll get the ready light. Okay, another cool thing is that you can make changes on your hard drive from the level of the project manager. Let me show you what I mean. If you right-click on the image, you can, for instance, delete it from the drive. But be careful with this and don't delete it by mistake. You can also open the file with associated application. In this case, it will be a 3ds Max scene. You can view the image in better resolution if you wish. There are some other options you can do from the level of project manager. Anyway, I don't really use these options. There are also some cool options in this panel. So if we select the folder and right click, we can for instance create a new folder and it will be created on the hard drive. We can rename it and so on. We can delete it from the hard drive as well or open the folder by using reveal in Windows Explorer. Okay, now let me show you another use of the project manager, assets files, which is used to linking the assets. So here we can see the list of different assets. We can see the name of it and the folder location and the size. If we click on the file type button, we can include or exclude types of files we want to have in the list. On the list, you can have textures, proxies, xref, etc. Basically everything what is linked in the scene. 
We can collect files, so it means that we will copy all selected files to the specific folder. Or we can search for the missing assets. You can notice that I only have the correctly linked files visible on the list now, but I also have 59 missing assets. That's the whole beauty of Project Manager, so with a few clicks, we can look for the missing assets on our whole computer or in the selected folder. So here, we can choose the folder where the manager should look for the assets. We simply click Start and we need to wait for the results. So now it's searching through the all folders on my T drive. If you choose a whole drive, as I did, it will take a while as it needs to go through lots of files. So if you know where your assets are exactly, be sure to check more specific folder. This way it will be much faster. You can see that now all files are linked and went to the OK list. Well, you can see how handy this manager is. It saves tons of time. If you don't use anything similar, I highly recommend to check different options. Let me know in the comments what do you use to manage your files in the scene. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you were interested in optimizing the workflow in 3ds Max, be sure you check out our optimization training where we show you many tricks to speed up the workflow. Click here to check it out on our website. Bye bye!